Can you simulate a jungle whilst also simulating a river? From the bottom of the food chain in vertebrates to their predators and even an apex predator. It's now the breeding season and many of the jungle's residents are beginning to breed. This cliffside nest will harbour a new generation. At this time of year, the jungle ponds have shrunken into muddy pools. This tortoise is having a bath. This helps with dry skin and to remove parasites. The tortoise population in the jungle is increasing, with many successful breeding seasons behind them already. This year, males are eager to wander the jungle floor in search of females. But this female is far more occupied with eating. They need to eat as much as possible if they are to fuel the development of healthy eggs. However, their feast is not without interruption. Meet the crested partridge, a colourful bird who spends most of its day foraging and getting in the way of our tortoises. This male and female pair travel together. The male watches over as the female looks for the perfect place to create a nest. But they have decided to look for a better spot to nest elsewhere. These big birds are relatives of the dodo. They are called crowned pigeons. Their big mass often results in them staying on the jungle floor and out of the jungle canopy. This species feeds on the ground, making a living amongst the leaf litter. That is, where they aren't being pestered by the tortoises. Up in the jungle canopy, there is a flurry of colour and activity. Small birds forage in a canopy for smaller vertebrates or to sing to establish territory, while others rest in the canopy shade. A favourite spot for our canopy birds is the jungle waterfall. Many species make a visit to weather their feathers and keep in top condition. This waterfall is the source of water in the jungle ecosystem. It feeds the ponds and streams that many animals rely upon. That chirping you can hear is the sound of stream frogs calling from their small pools at the base of the falls. At the base of the falls, a microclimate within the jungle ecosystem can be found. This vampire crab clings to the rocks and feeds safely away from the waterfall predators. The algae that's growing on the waterfall rocks is the perfect meal for this little crab. Speaking of predators, meet the emerald skink, a predator of small insects. This skink is rooting through the leaves looking for a meal. He's hunting for millipedes, but he won't find them this time of year. He's already missed out. Luckily, these millipedes are on a migratory journey up the cliff face, avoiding the skinks, leaving their soil burrows for the tops of the cliff. The habitat at the top of the cliffs is much drier than it is below the canopy. A scraggy assortment of vines and flowering plants offer rich food to the millipedes. It is not, however, without danger. This is the favoured habitat of another species of lizard. And this species will have no problem eating any small millipede that crosses their path. However, these curly-tailed lizards are mostly interested in the flowering plants. For now. Elsewhere downstream, the water flow has slowed into a peaceful pool, allowing aquatic plants the opportunity to take root. This deep water supports a large shoal of barbs. They forage for invertebrates among the grasses. This, however, is an illusion. This species is not as peaceful as this scene would suggest. The shallows are where the real frenzy takes place. The shoal of barbs bicker and fight as they forage. This species will bully other fish and kill them if they can. This log is so close to the water surface that it creates a perfect nursery for small fish. This family of panchaks raise the next generation in their secluded nursery away from the hungry barbs. Even at a microscopic level, this ecosystem has its players. This detritus worm is feeding on the surface of this panchak's egg. This may even help keep it clean from fungus. Those without a surface log nursery rely upon fallen leaves to create a sanctuary close to the surface. This panchak's egg is about to hatch and join the others in the nursery. Even further downstream, the water flow is all but non-existent and the water is full of debris and tannins, leading to a murky visibility. A strange creature stirs from the gloom. 
Meet the aquatic Sicilian. This may look like an eel, but actually it's an amphibian, much like a frog. It spends most of its day rooting around in the sediment that's been carried downstream. High above the water, an iguana rests, ready to dive into the murky depths if threatened. And I mean really high. In the shallows, crayfish feed. Their beautiful blue coloration stands out against the murky banks. This species has been very successful and their population has boomed, but their peace is short-lived. A predator is prowling the water's edge. Meet the crocodile monitor, an apex predator that eats birds, small mammals, and crayfish. This girl rules the jungle. There is no animal in this ecosystem above her. And unfortunately for the crayfish, she can swim.